Good morning, folks. The first CME is late to arrive. That's both good news and bad news. We'll look at sunspots, typhoon damage, magnetospheric physics, and a new exoplanet around a nearby star. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on the sun, and luckily there's not been any further flaring or eruptive activity. Yesterday we pointed out that not only did we have two CMEs on their way to Earth, but maybe a third, a small one from the M-class flaring that followed. NOAA's Enlil Spiral now shows them all, still with that flawed early timing of the first one, which is still on its way here. It's good that the first one is late. It means it's weaker than they expected, but it also increases the chances of a consecutive impact scenario with the second one. They had forecast 24 hours between those impacts, as you see here. That is often enough time for the magnetic field to restabilize. If they hit closer together in time, which is much more likely now, it's the one-two punch scenario to a larger degree. All eyes on the solar wind today with the sunspots still in the peripheral vision. They really are titanically big. Large active regions departing on the south while they are replaced on the left by the big groups there. Still an excellent chance for strong auroras tonight. Let's go to Taiwan. Typhoon Craython has struck and left quite a bit of damage. They basically shut down all activity on the island while it was impacting. Cleanup begins now. First up in the articles is this, veteran observers should know how much solar impact to Earth's magnetic field impacts the charged particle and space energy levels reaching the ground, but it's always a good reminder. And if that electromagnetic energy reaches ground level, it can certainly affect the weather via cloud microphysics and the global electric circuit. Lastly, folks, normally when we're discussing Barnard's star, it's about the super flaring and how it's one of the stars that has gone off in a line, moving right towards the sun, presumably from the interaction with the galactic current sheet. But today, they found an interesting exoplanet there. Chances are the super flaring at Barnard make it uninhabitable, but it is a rocky world. It's probably similar to Mars. Folks, if you didn't hear, today... The special forces will be across the street from Observer Ranch with some very cool toys. If any of you are coming, I'll arrive late morning and be there through mid-afternoon, hoping to see you today or at one of our upcoming events, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.